entirely happy to be trickled along at motorcade speeds. But that isn't what it's best at. The V-12 lacks low-down torque and needs to be worked hard to deliver its best, with bigger throttle openings encouraging the gearbox to hold gears for longer, or you can take control directly via the paddles behind the steering wheel. Although quiet by Aston standards, the Sonorous exhaust encourages exploration of the upper reaches of the rev range, with impressive acceleration when you do. The chassis copes well with our quest to tear up merry old England in a most unlimo-like fashion. Aston claims the tariff, thanks to that carbon bodywork, has an identical curb weight to the Rapid S, and although initially softer it feels almost equally fleet of foot when pushed. The hydraulic steering is light but delivers usable feedback, and the chassis produces impressive lateral grip, even on rain-slicked roads. The brakes lack much initial bite but have plenty of stopping power when worked more forcefully. It's downright hard not to drive at the sort of speeds that would produce complaints from any rear seat occupants or possibly a sharp tap from a gold-tipped cane. What the Lagonda doesn't deliver is much of the sort of pillowy wafting that buyers of luxury megasedans normally expect to find. The steel springs and dampers do a good job of maintaining discipline over rougher surfaces, and the longer wheelbase certainly helps improve ride quality, but there's none of the magic carpet impression delivered by the best of the tariff's air-suspended rivals. Nor can the Lagonda match their sepulchral hush, with its noticeable wind noise and road roar at speed. It feels like a sports car disguised as a limousine, which pretty much reflects the truth behind it. The tariff is an enormously likable car, whether it's seven-figure likable is another matter. But if all your neighbors drive Bentley Mulsons, or the valet captain at your country club asks which Mercedes Maybach S600 is yours, then this could be the way to get the exclusivity you've always craved.